15 going in. Disclaimer, um, in my last video I said that uh, some people would like to see Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka, but in reality I meant to say some people say they wouldn't want to see Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka. I, I just wanted to clear that up because I'm still kind of hyped up on Afrin and Acetaminophen. I'm still sick, uh, not with Corona, maybe. I don't have a fever or anything, I'm just congested as hell and my throat kind of hurts. But enough about me, the past couple weeks have been tough on everyone. So the fact that we get to wake up every Friday with new Clone Wars is just immensely awesome. This episode moves away from the Bad Batch and Rex and Anakin and Echo, etc. This episode we focus on Ahsoka's life after her exodus from the Jedi. This episode, in my opinion, wasn't the best. I know that this episode is meant to introduce characters like Trace and really helps build and portray what life is like below the surface on Coruscant. I did however really like how Trace described the Jedi. They don't care about us. They're the ones starting the war. I like that. The contrast between how we essentially deify the Jedi and see them as powerful saviors, whereas the lower income, lower level, fictional areas of Coruscant have doubts and no longer see the Jedi as peacekeeping religious zealots, but rather they see the Jedi as hypocritical and basically false gods. I love it. Other than that, the episode really didn't do it for me. I know it's a quote unquote building block episode, but it just left me sitting there with the feeling of, okay, what's next? Also, it could have just been me, but Trace's voice acting felt a bit off at times. Anyway, the demolition droid scene felt very cartoony. Yes, I know it's a cartoon, but it felt very basic in terms of conflict. I also feel that it was pretty strange that Trace, the smart mechanic, forgot to put the restraining bolt on the droid. The sisters initially felt really annoying to me, which I expect will change because I do semi-like their character aspect, you know, siblings depending on each other. It's a good concept, I just feel that in this episode, it's wasted. But like I said, I feel like this will change and I'll grow to like the Martez sisters as the story arc expands and grows on me. Seeing Ahsoka for the first time on screen was very nostalgic for me. I grew up watching Clone Wars and I really placed myself into Ahsoka's shoes as she left the Jedi Order and had to go experience the universe. I went to a private school until I was in 8th grade and then transferred to a public school for high school. Which is looking like I won't get to finish high school. To clarify, I, I will pass high school. I, I passed every class. I signed with the college. I'm not a failure, unless you ask my dad. Anyway, this episode really felt like a dud to me, but seeing Ahsoka again really made me feel good. She's probably my favorite character in the whole series, because she's relatable. And to most kids who grew up with the show like me, she represents us. I seriously can't wait for the rest of the episodes in the coming weeks, and we will be in for an emotional ride.